Hey guys, I'm back with another video and if you like this very natural Nas makeup look then keep watching. So first off, I'm starting with Nas Creamy Concealer. I'm not going to try to use a lot because I end up using so much. Let me do dots instead of a V. I use so much and then I cover my whole face in concealer and it's like, what's the point? Then you've got to put foundation on. Amazing, oh my god. Okay, next I'm taking the foundation. I've always, for the longest time, for years and years, I wanted to try this foundation, and I finally got my hands on it. It is the All Day Wear Luminous one. I got it in, is it Stromboli shade? But I feel like I'm in between Stromboli and Barcelona. So let's see if this is too light. I think Barcelona is a shade darker. It might be good to do it on my face because of how warm it is. The shade looks alright actually. It didn't cover up these bits, so let's see if they cover. I'm done. Okay, so I've got a foundation on and oh my god, I'm surprised. It's quite yellow. Okay, it hasn't covered these these dark spots here. Well, it's pretty good. And well done me. I think I'm like the queen of finding my shade now without getting tested. Yeah, that magic. Okay, so next we are moving on to powder and now I'm taking the loose powder to that because we all know I love loose powder. Okay for two and one I might because it's loose I might try and bake under the eyes and then just powder the rest of the face. So let's see how this goes. One eye done. Very, very white this is. Smells a bit funky. I have two, I've got the liquid one in Laguna and then I've got the powder version. I've tried the liquid one, I do not like it at all. It's so runny and I feel like it goes zilch. Like, it makes no difference to me. I'll do my forehead on camera. Like it's, I think it's just maybe too light for me, Laguna. But I think, isn't Laguna the only liquid one they have? Do you see what I mean? Like, I just don't... Actually, it looks like I've got two lines now. Personally, I just don't see much of a difference with the liquid one. In real life, like, you can't see anything, it doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna use the powder. This is more of a natural look, but I'm guessing I should buy Casino because that's darker. Do you see how natural that is? I've got like loads of my brush. I just don't think it's my colour, it's just too light for me. As I'm into that strong contour, I don't feel like I did anything. Okay, that's the bronzer applied. I'm not really a fan of the shade. I'm not gonna be like, I hate the bronzer because it's probably just the shade. But I do want to try their casino one, which is a shade dark, I think. That's what it looks like. For the first time, I don't normally do these together. If I do, um, it's one or the other. But we're gonna try their famous blush. I bet you know what it's called. Orgasm. I'm not a fan of this just because one, it's quite pink, okay. and two, it has gold reflexes. So if you put it here, it looks like you've got a gold 
highlighter. It's really weird. Yeah, not a fan. So let's bring me on to the next item, and that is the highlighter in. I can't even say this word. Is it Coca Cabana? Coca Cabana? So let's stick this down the nose. right now so I'm now going to sweep my under eye baking and see if it made a difference. I feel like it just made it smoother, I don't think it right in there. Okay so next we're moving on to the eyes. I have the larger than life eyeliner pencil. I don't have any eyeshadow because I thought there's no point spending like 20 quid on one little <laughs> Thing. and I obviously don't have a felt tip eyeliner so I'm going to try and combo an eyeliner and an eyeshadow in one I don't have any ideas for how this is going to go so just hoping for the best here okay so I'm going to try and attempt to do my waterline and then do a normal eyeliner with this and then try and smoke some out in the, in the corner for like an eyeshadow look. So let me just try and make this look good. How to draw a line on my hand because I'm trying to do my waterline and literally nothing's coming out. So that's what it looks like. I don't think you can see, but this is with waterline, this is with not. I think you can tell because it's like smaller obviously because it's black. I'm done with that, that is not working. It's just not going on my waterline. It's not coming up black, it's coming up really light. So you're doing it and doing it and literally now it's coming out. My drugstore ones are better than that. One swipe and I've got like panda eyes. I'm gonna try and do, I don't think I can even do wing with this because it's just not coming out. You see? What's up black thing? That's the powder still. I'm gonna try, I came close so I can look in the camera mirror type thing because trying to do it in the mirror is not working. So let's try and do an eyeline of this. I can't even see what I'm doing anyway. Let me get my mirror. Oh wow, this is really crap. It's crapper than crap. Just look at that. Look at that. What rubbish is this pencil? Imagine buying this. I'm doing this to tell you not to get this. Imagine spending like, what is it? Nearly 20 quid on a pencil that's this crap. I don't think so. It's not gliding across the skin. It's not even me, like, it's literally just not applying properly. I think I'm just going to draw lines here. What I'm going to do now, I did lines up there so I could smoke it out. Make it like an eyeshadow. Because most pencils do, do this, if it doesn't do it, it just shows you how crappy it is. it literally removed the line it's removed the wing so I'd recommend you all you guys to use it as an eyeshadow not an eyeliner actually I wouldn't recommend that I recommend not to buy it at all because it's poop <sighs> let's just move on to the last thing in this lip it's the velvet lip glide in the color bound I'm not gonna lie when I got this I did try it and I'm obsessed I love it it's like it's a lip gloss but it feels and it lasts as long as a lipstick like a liquid lipstick it's really weird look how amazing that is within one swipe and bam it's on this is the type of lip gloss you could just sit there and just apply all day it's that type it's like really good and it smells amazing 
It's just sweet, it's like, just sweet, sweetie, sweet. And yeah guys, that brings me in to the end of the look. So, you can see the blush now, the contour did zilch for me. I like the highlight, it's very natural. When it comes to NARS, I just think of natural. No, nothing's like blinding on my face. Oh my god, I forgot product. I forgot <laughs> the mascara. How, like how, how does that happen? There was, this is the, the mascara in Black Moon called, it's called Audacious Mascara. Okay guys, I'm coming really close to personal. This video is a mess. I'm like half, I'm like really close, really far away. Do you see the difference? Look, look at that difference. Look, look at that look. Do you see this? I've applied quite a lot just to show you how it looks. Obviously, it's starting to look clumpy now, but you wouldn't apply this much. Well, this is a bit dangerous. <laughs> Oh my god, you can see the difference. Look, guys, do you see this? Look, I'm amazed. Okay, the under eye is looking a bit funky. Okay, guys, so just apply the other eye and look at these lashes. Like, there's none underneath, it looks like it, but <laughs> I applied a lot, it looks a bit clumpy, but just look. Okay guys, it's the end of the video and I'm going to just run through some things. I like everything, I'm not a fan of the powder, so I don't like loose powder. If you like loose powder, this might be the one for you. I also don't like the liquid, the powder, bronzer and the blush. But I'm not going to hate on the formula, I just need to try a darker shade. Oh my god, for the life of me, like for five or so years now, I have been wanting there is a bit a blush and I know orgasm is like it's so popular with everyone and I can see why because you don't really need to wear a highlight of that because it has like a gold shimmer to it don't like them colours I hate pink blushes I only want <laughs> I only try to wear red blushes so I'm not going to make my decision on them and like for the bronzer I want to try a casino it's darker I feel like Maybe because of my, if you're lighter, you might like Laguna, but for me, it didn't really do anything for me. Maybe that's why I didn't like the liquid one either, because okay, it's not the shade, not because of the formula. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this lip. It's not like any other lip gloss. It's so creamy, it's not sticky. This comes close to um, Colourpop's, because Colourpop's is like this, it's not sticky. I think it's a tiny bit sticky. I think Colourpop might be second and this might be first. Like, I am obsessed. When I first got this, I was like wearing it like, every day. I love this. I would definitely try and buy other colours. This is a perfect everyday colour. That is literally everything. Like, I'm happy with everything. The concealer, it was fine. It's not as big girl coverage as like Colourpop. But yeah, literally everything is fine. Oh yeah, I forgot about the eyes. I think it's not fine. That eyeliner is a no-no. You can't put on the waterline because it's... To do this pigment, I have to like, do this on my hand to get anything out. So your waterline where it's delicate, it's sensitive. It was going on so thin, it was, it was taking ages. Drugstore ones take like seconds to put your waterline. And then you saw what happened when I tried to do like an eyeliner wing or whatever. So... I would even recommend, if you have it, I'd recommend you just use it as an eyeshadow, but if you don't have it, don't buy it. The mascara is amazing, I love it, makes it so long, so voluminous, and everything. Yeah, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what are your favourite NARS products, if you wanted to try anything in this video that you haven't had already. Until then, I'll see you guys later.